Well, hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Welcome once again to How to Tune on a very exciting day. Uh, today is, of course, for our lesson planned, by request day. Now, by request day is always very exciting, and I'm going to talk about it in just a minute. But today is also another special kind of day. Today is National Joe Day. So if there are any Joes out there, happy Joe Day to all of you and a happy Joe Day to me too. I'm happy to be here to celebrate with all of you. A uh, couple reminders to everyone. First and foremost, subscribe. Where are we? Subscribe right there, okay? Make sure you subscribe to How to Tune. Uh, I post new videos just about every day. The best way to find out what I'm doing and when is to subscribe, okay? That's the most important thing. Um, also, I want to let you know that today, uh, today is March 27th. Uh, I will be doing live drawing at 6 p.m. Eastern on Instagram, uh, and that's at National Cartoonist is the um, uh, who I'll be uh, doing, excuse me, doing videos as. So National Cartoonist uh, over on Instagram. OK, uh, also the Quick Draw Coloring Book is now up at dun, 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 Mazetunes.com. Those of you who participated in helping create that coloring book, thank you very much for all your wonderful suggestions. Um, you can now get that uh, online for free at Mazetunes.com. OK, take that down. There we go. Um, remember to please like, like, like that video. Please like the videos. Let's see if we can get up over 100 today, okay, to celebrate National Joe Day. Last thing, follow me, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, gocomics.com, where you can sign up for a free account and follow Maze Tunes for free mazes every day. And, of course, as always, subscribe. Okay, we are about ready to begin. Now, there's a couple things we need to know. Um... First and foremost, as always, uh, be polite, be respectful, be supportive of one another. I'm so proud of each and every one of you, kids and adults. And remember, we have a lot of different people here in our audience, so we're always very respectful, very kind, and most of all, very supportive. Thank you all uh, to everyone who is are wishing me a happy Joe Day. I'm glad you could be here to celebrate with me. Here is how by request work, okay? You... Say your request, okay? Let me know your request. Just type it in there. Don't spam. You don't have to say it a bunch of times. You can say it once or twice. Um, I will scroll through them and uh, find ones we like. I'll try and pick some that we haven't done before, uh, some, some new ones, something different, and I will select those and we will draw them, okay? So that's right, Flynn. You got this, everybody, uh, and you do. You all have this. Let's watch real quick our video to let us know what we need to get started. Okay, here we go. everybody get ready let's uh we're gonna make sure we're connected here i lost our connection on the camera here so give me one second okay uh give me a second we're gonna try and, my having a little technical difficulty on the one camera so i'm gonna turn it off and restart it that's the document camera where we learn to draw um i see lots of requests coming in there we go. We are set now. All right, switching over. Let's see. Uh, first request today is from Kate, and that is going to be a fox. So if you'd like to draw a fox with us, blank piece of paper. Let's begin, everyone. Here we go. We got an oval. And a slightly smaller one right here. I 
eyelids and pupils. Lots of requests coming in. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and draw a fox right now as our first one of the day. But I'll be picking some more of your requests. Don't worry. I think if we get to 100 likes today, I'll stay a little extra, okay? All right. Down. Add a triangle. In and add a dash. Yeah, we have done a fox before in some of our other classes, and each time I change it up a little bit. So uh, even if you drew the fox before, this one will be a little bit different. Getting a lot of interesting requests coming in. I see cheetah on there. We'll definitely do a cheetah. Remember not to spam. You guys are doing great. Uh, and I see panda. We'll definitely do a panda too. All right. All right, we're just working on our fox right now. Come in. Like that. All right. Now we're going to come back up here and add some hair on top of the head. Lots of good requests coming in. Oh, hamster's a good request. Uh, I see hedgehog, cheetah, panda, alien. Oh, my goodness, lots of requests. Some of these we've done before, so we'll do some... Some of these we'll do. Some we'll do some different ones too. Try and mix it up. Out, in, like that. Other ear like that. Yeah, we did a fox uh, for our farm animals day. We actually did a fox as our last drawing. But I'm going to change it up. We'll make it a little bit different this one time. Down, around, and up. Down, around, connect. I see tiger in there. That's a good request. A fairy penguin. Oh, that's a fun one. Lots of great ones. Don't worry. I see all these. You only need to type it once or twice. I'll let you know when it's time to get a request in again because I can't uh, I want to draw so I can't always keep up with your request. Number two, around and in. And one, two. And then connect from here to here. So let's finish our fox. And then I'll take another request, okay? Let's wait until we finish our fox before we do that, okay? And in. Down around. And in. Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Zigzag, 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 zigzag. Okay, and then we're going to shade in the nose a little bit like that and add some whiskers. And then sign your name, take pride in your work. There is your fox. Very good, everybody. Uh, don't worry if you, you missed it. We are. Uh, I will post all these as I always do. And plus, uh, I'll also be doing some more. So don't worry about missing that one. Okay, so there is your fox. Let's see. All right, let's get some more requests in here. 
Uh, what do we have next? Let's see. We just did a unicorn in our other class. So I don't want to know if I want to do a unicorn again. Um, let's see. Oh, wait, I had a really good quest. I want to go back and see it here. Let's see if I can find this. Really? Oh, this is a tough one. Hi, Mr. Westquick. Please draw a Minotaur. I've been waiting all week for by request today to do one. Oh, my goodness. Well, then, by request, let's go ahead and draw a Minotaur. Now, this is a very detailed one. Minotaur, as it happens, is one of my favorite mythical creatures. We didn't draw him on Myth Day because the Minotaur is in a story about uh, the labyrinth and mazes, and I'm, I draw mazes. So we're going to draw a Minotaur. This one's going to take a little bit of time, so be patient. Um, all right, I see all these other requests coming in. So next one is a Minotaur, but I've got another one, I think, after that. Uh, after Minotaur, let's see. Maybe we'll do uh, one of these other requests right after Minotaur, okay? Let's see. All right, here we go, Minotaur. A Minotaur is half human and half bull and is a mythical creature. I think our next drawing after this is probably going to be a cheetah. All right. One, two, one, two. Oh, we're starting to get some requests for shout outs from, oh, Brayden, and there's Lauren, and Aria, and Empty Rex is back again. Sam is back again. Oh, my goodness. Lots of friends returning, some new friends joining us. Okay, we have uh, 91 viewers right now, so let's get those likes up too, okay? All right, now, this is the tricky part. Come across, up. Down, up, down, around like this. Okay, so this one is going to be uh, a minotaur, which is a very, very tricky one. A lot of detail. We're going to shade this in. And then we're going to put a little ring in the nose like this. So it's half bull, half human. Volt Gamer is here. Gabrielle is here. Lynn, Alyssa, Carolyn, Matthew, Luca, Tori is here again. Alexa's back. Braden's here. Allison's here. Isaiah. Uh, Megan's here again. Athena's here. Emmeline. Hello again, Emmeline. Jesse, Eric, Regina. Nice to see all of you. We are drawing a minotaur. It's a mythical creature. Okay, so that's over, down, add a backwards G, over, down, add a capital letter G. Caroline's here. I see all your requests. Hi, Courtney. Welcome. Cameron's here. Oh my goodness, E.B. Shells is here. Hello, E.B. Shells, the Hoffman family back again. Nice to see you all. And hello, Caroline. All right, and then we have these horns. A lot of detail for the Minotaur. Hello, Dry Grape. Welcome. Corey asked for a zombie. We're actually going to be doing zombies later this week. We're doing a creeper, creep, Creepy Creatures Day. So be sure to check the schedule under Community. Marshall is here. 
Yeah, I've done bunny a couple times. Um, I just posted one of the Easter bunny you can see. Little scribbly lines here for where the neck would be. Um, request for puppy, we just did a whole dog day. You can still find that. All these drawings are, are posted uh, online. Crystals as for gorilla, we're gonna be drawing a gorilla later, or excuse me, next week uh, for our jungle day. All right, come down that line and up. And then we sort of just go right into this, like that, and then like that. Kim, Abigail, and Rebecca are here. Oh, I see a request for a cute rat. That's a fun one. Well, we'll see. We're going to see what we have time for. If we get up over 100 likes, I think I'll stay a little longer today. How's that? Okay. All right. Now. I'm going to give him gloves. That was a little fast. I'm sorry about that. You come down, over, out of the hand. It's down, up, down, up, down, up, thumb, up, cross to add a glove. Like that. I've had a couple requests for panda. Um, so we'll see if we can do a panda. I think cheetah maybe next. Lots of great requests in here. We're going to do as many as we have time for. Remember to get those likes in. All right. Other arm, same thing. It's symmetrical. Symmetry means whatever's on the left is on the right. I kind of like this one. I, I don't... This is one of those ones that when I started drawing it, I don't think I knew exactly what I was going to do. And now I kind of like it. All right, connect from here to here, from here to here, and then across the bottom like this. There we go. Move this up a little bit so that I can show you where we have the legs on this. The legs are going to be um, a bit more um, bull-like. So you come down, add the hooves, and up, down, add the hooves, and up, and then shade it in. And there is... Your Minotaur. Very good. A Minotaur. Oh, that's a nice one. A Minotaur. I like that. Good, good, good request. Uh, let's see what we got next. Oh, my goodness. We got so many requests coming in. I wish I could do them all. Um, I think we had a request for a cheetah I was going to do next. So if you would like to learn how to draw a cheetah, that is our next one. There we go. A cheetah. All right. So next up is a cheetah. Set that aside. Blank piece of paper, everyone. Next up is a cheetah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Like to learn how to draw a cheetah? Here we go. We're going to start with The eyes, one, two, okay, we're going to have a whole day of dinosaurs too, so don't worry, I'm going to be here for uh, every weekday at least until we go back to school, maybe longer. 
So we'll be doing lots and lots of drawings. All right. Come out. Add a triangle. Shape like that. I see that uh, lots of great requests here. Um, trying to think, did we do alien before? If not, we could we could probably work in the alien. Um, I see. Let's see, all kinds of interesting requests here. So let's get our cheetah done first. Deborah asked, do I do classes on Sundays? Now, Sundays are the only days I'm not here. Um, Sundays, I, I have to get all my other work done. Um, but I am here Saturdays with a story time. Okay, teeth. Arr. Okay, good. Come around. Upside down letter V, upside down letter V, upside down letter V. I got, I've got a couple requests for drawing me. I don't think anybody wants to know how to draw me. That's silly, but it is Joe Day. Down, one, two, and back up, down. Connect. So uh, a panther request. So cheetah, panther, leopard are all very, very similar. Um, so it's just a matter of the markings more than anything else of the color. Um, Megan, I love sloths. We'll draw a sloth. Don't worry. We've got plenty of time. Uh, and any ones I don't get to today, I'm going to be here all of next week. Giraffe we're doing next week for our In the Jungle Day. Our In the Jungle Day might have to be an extra long class because there's a lot of animals I want to do for the In the Jungle Day. Line across, down, one, two, and up. Okay. Around to here, around to here. Leave a little gap for the tail. Uh, I, I got a request for Baby Bat. We're going to be drawing Baby Bat on our Creepy Creatures Day next week. Story time. Gabrielle asked, what time is story time? Story time tomorrow is 1 p.m. Eastern. Eastern time. Add the tail. And then add some spots. As many as you like. Uh, I'm going to have it sort of, um, I think I'm going to have it in a, I got to add the other leg. I'm going to have it in a, um, I don't know, what am I going to do? I'm going to put it on a rock here, sort of. There we go. Eric, yes, I know. Well, it's going to be jungle and savanna um, because I'm going to have lions and other animals in there too. So don't worry about that. Oh, Matthew, don't pick on the poor bats. It's not all bats. It was just certain bats. Okay. Uh, Alyssa, so after we go to school, no more how to tune. I'm still going to be here. We'll just have a different schedule once you go back to school. Uh, I'll change the schedule so that people can... Watch it when they get home from school, okay? So don't worry, I'll still be here. All right, so there 
is your cheetah. All right, oops, let me move down so you can see the tail. Sorry about that. Okay, um, what next? What should we do next? Remember, please like the video if you're enjoying. Let's see if we can get up to 100 likes. We're at 72 right now. Uh, also, please short, be sure to subscribe. Okay, let's see. What do we got? What request we have coming in? Um, let's see. We've done a llama before. We've done chicken a, a couple times because I love drawing chickens. Uh, what else do we got? Oh, sloth. Yes, okay. Uh, we've got a couple uh, people have requested a sloth. So here we go. A sloth. All right, everybody's doing great. Keep up the good work. We're doing sloth right now. All right, then we'll see which one we'll do next. Still got plenty of time left in today's class. Plenty of time left in today's class, so. Uh, oh, I see a panda request. That might be a good one. We'll see. Okay. Meet the first ever Oops, what the that commercial going on? There we go. Okay. So right now we're drawing a sloth. See lots of requests there. Oh, hamster's a good request too. An ice cream, that's a funny one. That might be fun, we'll see. Claws, one, two, three, and then back up. And the other arm is going up here. But please don't draw the hand yet, so we need to make them holding on to a branch. All right. Okay, this is a little bit tricky. So we got sort of these arms sort of extending up here. But what we got to do is we've got to make a branch sort of going right like this. Okay, and then we got to connect it up. And then we can add, I know this is very, very tricky. Then we can add the claws sort of gripping. Okay, and then we just sort of connect all that up. Let's shade that nose in a bit now too. Okay. 
you run out of room, that's okay. Just draw what you have room for. I know this is a tough one here. Yeah, lots of fur, furry, furry sloth. And then I, I love drawing just the texture on a tree, just sort of like this. It's a good place to hide your name or stuff like that. There we go. Sign your name, take pride in your work. There is your sloth. I'm going to stop there for a little bit. I a little, went a little fast on that one. Sorry about that, everyone. Okay. What do we have uh, next? What do we have next? What other requests do we have? Um, oh, this is an interesting one. A palm tree. Now, that's an unusual one, just a palm tree. But why not? It's fun to learn how to draw props and not just characters. Um, but the setting for things, where things takes place, okay? So we're going to set our sloth aside. And we're going to draw a little palm tree on an island. And we're going to add a little crab, okay? So let's start with our palm tree. One line up. Two lines up. Around like this, and around like that. Okay. I think our next drawing will be, let's see. Well, I'll wait and surprise you. How's that? <laughs> Lots of good requests coming in. Um, oh, here's a good one. We'll combine a couple. All right, so palm tree first here. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Yeah, I'm going to draw a, a palm tree. Um, and then the palm tree, and then under the palm tree is a crab. And the crab is going to have an ice cream cone. Oh, I have to remember all that, okay? So palm tree, uh, crab, and ice cream cone. But we got to finish our palm tree first. So then you got some sort of lines like this that just sort of show the uh, leaf. Now, this is the fun part. You just take the letter U over and over, just sort of alternating, or letter W, and you just sort of scribble it in here. Okay. Good. And I've got down, around, and up. And then all around here is just sort of water. Okay, it's an island. Now, a crab uh, with an ice cream cone. So we start up a little bit up here because we got the eyes are way up here, but the body's down here. So eyes are going to be here, body here. So this is the body. It looks like a banana. And one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. Doing great, everybody. All right. One line up, two line up, one line up, two line up. And 
and then circle, circle, dot, dot. Now remember, one of his claws, he's holding an ice cream cone. So this one, it's just sort of line out, line up, and then add a claw. But in this claw, he's holding an ice cream cone, so it's a little bit tricky. So I'm going to pause for a second, let everyone catch up. Tell us that's for a monkey. We're actually going to be drawing a monkey uh, this upcoming week for our uh, jungle safari day. All right, line down, line out. Line up, line down. Sort of a letter C, but then the ice cream cone. Okay, see how I have to draw that claw. Can there be coconuts in the palm tree? Yes. There we go. How's that? Okay, now you've got a letter V here for the bottom of the ice cream cone. Oh, and it's a double scoop with a cherry on top. And then some texture, just a grid that looks like this. And eyebrows. Then some texture on the sand. Maybe there's a starfish has washed up on the beach. <coughs> Maybe a shell. And then, of course, sign your name. Take pride in your work. There is your ice cream. Yeah, the ice cream could be melting too. There's your crab with an ice cream and a palm tree that's a whole lot of stuff going on there um could there be a shark fin in the background sure why not there we go uh oh that's trouble okay what are we going to draw next let's see uh we got 100 viewers we got 78 likes let's get some likes up there okay let's get some likes up there please everyone all right, going to set that one aside. Good job, everybody. Nice work. That was a lot of detail for a whole little scene. They're much more detailed uh, today. So, oh, uh, next request uh, is actually a panda because I, I did promise a panda. So panda and then um, an alien. We will definitely do an alien, I think, because we've had a few requests. Um, but let's draw a panda first, okay? All right, blank piece of paper. Let's begin. We're going to start with the nose and then the eyes. One, two, one, two, one. Two. There's a lot of shading in on a panda. A lot of coloring in you have to do. So you have to take your time with all the coloring in. Lots of great requests coming in. I'm going to try and get to as many of them as we can. Uh, if we get to 100 likes, I'm going to stay a little extra today so we can get some, I can get some more drawings done for you. Lots of shading in here. Lots of shading in. Pandas take time. Okay. Good job, everybody. Looking good, looking good. Very nice, very nice. Okay. All right. Letter Y upside down. 
Uh, Hudson, that's right. I use the Zebra PM701. Is the marker I use. For those who are curious about which marker I use, that's the one. Okay, now for the head. Okay, good. Now the ears, letter C, sort of a fuzzy letter C with the fuzzy letter C inside, same thing here. And then you gotta shade that in. A lot of coloring in on pandas. Remember, a lot of the uh, some of the requests you're making, you can actually view uh, the page or the channel, how to tune. And uh, if you use it, the you'll see lots of different lessons uh, up on the channel too. Okay. Okay. Eric asked, we draw a zebra? Yeah, we can do a zebra on our jungle savanna safari day. All right, I'm going to slow it down a little bit there because I did go very fast on that one. I forgot how much shading in there is on this. Lots of shading in. If you don't want to shade it in right now, you want to color it in later, you can do that. That's okay. And I'm going to shade in a little bit sloppy. Normally when I color things in, I color them on a computer, so. Or I give them to someone else to color, because I don't really like coloring very much. Just not a fan of coloring. Love to draw, but I don't like to color as much. And I've got like 300 drawings here waiting to be colored, so. I want to have to let someone else color them. That's why I made the coloring books for you guys, so you could do all the coloring. Because I sure don't like the color. Sign your name. Take pride in your work. There's your panda. Uh, oh, uh, let's see. Uh, we have a couple people have asked. Where do we got? Let's see. Um, could I put a bow on it? Sure, you can add a bow. Just a little square, and there's a bow. Okay. If you want to add a bow, you can add a bow. Okay. Uh, all right. So next one, uh, let's do an alien and an astronaut hamster. Okay. So an alien and an astronaut hamster. All right, that's a pretty unusual one. All right, blank piece of paper. I see all the other requests coming in. We're going to do as many as we have time for. So next up is... an alien, but we're also going to add an astronaut hamster. Okay. All right, here we go. Blank piece of paper. We're going to start with our alien. Okay. I've had a lot of people asking for unicorn. We actually did a uh, unicorn on our Myths and Monsters Day. So we did a bunch of unicorns, but I also see some requests coming for Pegasus, so maybe we'll see. See what we have time for today. 
We're at 145. Uh, if I get a few more likes up there, I think I'll stick around till 2 o'clock. Let's see if we get a few more likes. Okay, everybody? All right. Around. Around. Okay, next we get a color in the eyes. So we're going to leave a little white space there. And then we're going to shade in around that. Kind of like what we did with the panda. I'm going to shade in this one. Okay. Everybody's doing great. Leah's doing great. And Luca. And Happy Tune Studios. Wonderful. Uh, who else do we got here? Gordon is here. And Jesse and Brayden. And Brian. Aria. And Justin. Nice to see you all here. Let's see. What do we have? It looks like it says we have 82 likes. Let's see if we can get up to 100. If you haven't liked yet, give it a like. All right. Now watch how we do this. We come around like this. Around like this. And then we're going to add a dome. Okay, it's real easy. Just go like this. One. Doing great, everybody. Hi, Caroline. And Ludovine, or Ludovine, Ludovine. <laughs> Sorry if I mispronounced it. All right, now for the saucer, it looks like this. You come out and in, and then around and up. Hello, Genevieve is here, and Marshall, and Alyssa, and Ludi is here, and Matthew's reminding everybody to smash that like button. Yeah. Kendrick is here, and oh, my friend Hilda is here. Hi, Hilda. Okay. And then up and in, and a little froof there. Abby, you have been noticed. You're doing wonderful work today, I'm sure. Chelsea asked for some dancing food. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see what we have time to do today. Let's see, we're at 84 likes. 85, okay. Let's see if we get to 100 today. Okay. All right. So there's that part. Next is going to be an astronaut hamster. Okay. So astronaut hamster on the same page. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw this first. Okay, so we have that first, and then we're going to draw the hamster's head just sort of sticking in there. All right. Oh, Eric worries that that's polluting space. No, this, this, um, that is just um water vapor okay don't worry just some water vapor okay There 
There's the face. Yes, Ari is right. Astro Hamster. Very good, everyone. Doing great. Thank you, everyone who's been sending me the drawings on Facebook and Instagram and by email. Um, I love seeing your drawings. And thank you so much for liking these videos. Oh, we're at 85 likes. All right. Around like this. This is a cute one. Tanya says water vapor would freeze in space. Yes, probably. That's probably frozen. It's not moving. So, yeah. We'll say it's frozen, okay? All right. around all right almost done here guys are doing great other hand very good everybody keep going almost done I'm going to add a little control box here on the front. Okay. Now we've got his little oxygen supply. So it just goes off the page. We'll assume he has a rocket somewhere nearby. And then you could add some stars into in the distance. This is stuff you can add if you want to. You don't have to. Maybe we see a planet here. Maybe it's the planet Earth. Maybe it's another planet. There's the moon, maybe. And then sign your name. Take pride in your work. That's a cute little astronaut hamster, if I do say so myself. All right, let's see. It's 1.53. Uh, we'll go till 2 o'clock, but... Oh, if we get some more likes up there, maybe we'll go a little longer. All right. So let's see what request we have next. What do we have? What would anybody like? Oh, we've got a request for Pegasus. Pegasus is a type of flying horse. That's a great one. All right. So next up is a Pegasus. Blank piece of paper, everyone. Pegasus. Here we go. We are going to start with the eyes. One, two, one, two. Very good. Okay. Down, up, up, dash. Megan, that's okay if you have to go. You can come back and visit later. Again, as always, I will post the videos, so you'll be able to catch up later with these. And then up, and in, and around. And then a nostril right there. Hello, Genevieve and Athena. And Megan just had to leave. Bye-bye, Megan. We'll see you later. And Jesse's here. Lots of friends returning. Nice to have you back. Deborah asks, what are we drawing? We're drawing a Pegasus. All 
right. And Debbie saying bye-bye, but we'll be back later, I'm sure, to check out the video after we post it. Line down like that. All right. How are we doing, everybody? Doing okay? Down, out, zigzag a little bit, up and in. Down, zigzag, and up. Good. Hello, Riley. Thanks for coming. Ryan, too. Glad to have you here. Around, down, out, zigzag, in, and up. Kendall is here. Hello, Kendall. One of my students is named Kendall. Actually, his last name's Kendall. His first name's Ian. Up and in. All right. Now we're going to add all the who's. Okay. So we got to add all those little who's there. Gordon said, yay, we're drawing a Pegasus. All right. The hooves are like almost triangles with the tops cut off. And then you shade those in. Hi, Alyssa and Justin. Shade those in. All right, we're at, we've got 88 likes up there. Let's see how many more likes we can get. All right, now the wings. You come up. One, two, three, four, and in. The other wing's just behind here, like that. Guys are doing so wonderful, so proud of you. Okay. Now you had feathers, just feathers are just the letter W, really, is all you're doing. Like that. All right, now the tail. Come down, out, one, two, three lines, and up. Some eyebrows, and then maybe let's have it prancing through the clouds. Sign your name, take pride in your work. There is your Pegasus. Well, let's see. We are at, we are at 2 o'clock, so it's been one hour, but let's see. Should I stay and do one more? Let's see. Should I stay and do one more? We're at 89 likes. Oh, my goodness. Can I get one more like up there to get to 90? Let's see if we can get one more like, Okay. If I get one more, I'll stick around and we'll do one more drawing. Okay. All right. Let me set this one aside. These have been very detailed drawings that you guys have been doing really, really well. Um, all right. I think we'll do, I think I'll stick around. We'll do one extra drawing today. Let's see what request we have coming in. Um, there's some really interesting ones, um, really interesting ones, some really bizarre ones. Um, boy, this is a tough decision. Let's see. Potato dancing. 
A dancing potato. Okay, here we go. We got, oh, you made it to 91 likes. Good for you. Let's see if we get to 100 before we leave today. But for uh, everyone, we're doing a dancing potato. Oh, my goodness. All right, here we go. Okay. Next, we're going to add the eyes in there. Very good. A couple little dots there. Add some texture. Oh, we're at 92 likes. Good job, everybody. Out, dash, dash. Let's add some eyebrows, too. And then we're going to add the mouth. Around. Show the tongue like that, and then shade in above it, like so. And then dash. Yeah, it does look a little bit like a peanut, too, but it looks like a fat peanut. <laughs> a fat peanut or a dancing potato. All right, so we need to make them dancing, though, so let's make them tap dancing. There's legs, and we'll give them some tap shoes. Let's shade those in a little bit. We'll leave the tips of the shoes white. Tap, tap, tap. Uh, oh, we'll give them some hands here. Let's see. He's got a little cane. He's very old school. Uh, Eric's cat Hamilton apparently likes dancing potatoes. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I think he needs a hat. I think he needs a hat. So you got a long skinny rectangle, another rectangle, and another rectangle. If you want, you can write tap, tap, tap. And there is a tap dancing potato. Oh, it's 204. Hmm. We're at 93 likes. Oh, if I get a few more likes, I think we'll do one more. Get a few more likes up there. We'll do. We'll stick around for just one more. We're a little bit over on time. Actually, we're quite a lot <laughs> over on time, but I don't mind sticking around if you don't mind sticking around. So what do you say? Should we do one more? Who says yes, one more? Everybody say yes, one more, one more. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll do one more. Uh, let's get those uh, few likes up there for everybody. Remember to subscribe and like, please. All right, one more. This will be the last one. I'm going to make it a pretty quick one, though, just because I do have to get drawing for my uh, actual work that I've got to do. I've got to draw some mazes today. Um, and then I'll do a couple reminders at the end of the class. What should I do for my last one? Oh, my goodness. Do I have any suggestions for the very last one here? Okay, one more. Yes, everybody says yes to one more. Okay, how about a couple likes up there? If you haven't liked already, give it a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Okay. Um, let's see. All right. 
Uh, this is one we've done before, but we're going to change it up a little bit. Let me see here. Lots of good ones here. This is really tough to choose. You guys are coming up some really good ones. Um, so many good ones. Remember not to spam it. Don't worry. I see, I see them all. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm having such a hard time picking one of these. You guys are so funny. All right, I'm going to actually combine a couple here, okay? All right, so I've got uh, someone asked for a badger on roller skates. Someone else asked for, let's see, Regina asked for a penguin. Um, how about a penguin on roller skates uh, eating pizza? Penguin on roller skates eating pizza is our last one. Here we go. Penguin on roller skates uh eating pizza. I see some of these other requests. Um, don't worry. I'm going to actually um, do some special lessons that I'll post later. Okay. All right. Penguin on roller skates eating pizza. So we've got circle, circle, period, period. Okay. I've had a few requests to draw me. I will post a special lesson later today, a drawing of me, okay? All right, I will I will post one later today of me. Out, up, dash, down, in, dash, around, and up. And don't worry if you didn't get your request in. I'll be back again next week with lots more and another request on Friday. Uh, next week, we're doing a dad joke day. We're doing a jungle and safari day. Um, all sorts of I think we're doing dinosaurs next week, too. I'll post the schedule if you haven't seen it already. Come up, over, down, and out. Let's ask, will the lessons be live? Um, I don't normally do uh, live lessons for the second for the other lessons during the day, but maybe I will do a live one uh, later today. Um, we'll see. I have to check my schedule. Out, over, in, and up. Oh, we're at 95 likes. You think we can get five more? If you haven't liked yet, give it a like. Down. This is a backwards number three. Almost done. Okay. We're almost done. It's our last drawing. One, two. Around and around. Then we're going to turn that into roller skates, okay? So, one, two, one, two, and then you got the little stoppers there. And I know some of you are starting a regular virtual school next week. Um, if you can't tune in at one o'clock, um, you can tune in later because I will post all these. Also, um, ask your school, let them know that you're taking this class every day. And see if ask if they'll um, allow you to get credit for being an art class. Uh, I know some schools have been doing that, allowing this to be a, a four credit art class. I am a teacher. I teach at a high school here in Pittsburgh. I also teach at the Charles M. Schultz Museum in California. Come out, got a little line like that, and then down and up and then back in. That's a little tricky, but he's going to be holding pizza. Looks like this. And I don't know what kind of pizza you like, but I'm going to make it pepperoni. But it doesn't have to be pepperoni. It can be uh, any kind of pizza you like. Eyebrows. And that's it, everybody. Sign your name. Take pride in your work. 
Good job, everyone, for getting us to 100 likes. We stayed, uh, oh, I stayed an extra 15 minutes today. That's fine. I don't mind at all. Thank you so much for being here. A uh, couple things before we leave. I'll leave that up for a little bit. We made it to 100. Good job, everybody. I'm going to post a couple bonus drawings later today just for you, okay? So thank you so much for getting us to 100 likes. Awesome. Keep liking. Keep subscribing. Um, I will be posting some special uh, lessons later today. A uh, couple things to remember. Today, which is March 27th at 6 o'clock, I'll be over on Instagram for the National Cartoonist Society. Um, I'll be doing some live drawing there on Instagram. Um, so you can follow, follow me over there, which is National Cartoonist, plural. Uh, I'll be over there at 6 p.m. Eastern. Okay. And please, please remember that you can follow me on Twitter at MazeTunes, Facebook at MazeTunes, Instagram at MazeTunes, TikTok at QuickDrawTunes. GoComics.com, subscribe for free and follow MazeTunes. And then, of course, on my website, MazeTunes.com, where I have a free coloring book up right now. Two free coloring books, as a matter of fact. So please, oh, please definitely check that out. Um, you can also subscribe to my website as well. Uh, Grownups, if you enjoyed the show, and I hope you did, um, you can actually donate uh, at PayPal uh, or Cash App. You can donate to support these programs and lots more. I want to thank you all so much. See you tomorrow for story time at 1 o'clock, same time as we tell the story of How Turtle Flew South. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. It's been wonderful seeing you. Have a very happy Joe Day. Bye-bye.